Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name's Emma Fave, and today I'm gonna to be trying out this watercolor bubble art that I've been seeing trending on TikTok and Instagram. So let's jump in and try it. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be trying out this bubble watercolor trend that I've seen all over TikTok and all over Instagram, and I wanted to give it a try, but instead of using something that is circular, um, I'm gonna be using these heart cookie cutters. So if you don't know what this trend is, I'll pop in a couple photos that I've seen of many people doing this. Um, and because it's Valentine's Day coming up, I thought I would just use these heart cookie cutter shapes. I'm hoping this works. I haven't really tried it. Um, so I really hope it's as easy as it looks, but we will find out. So I just have my Legion paper watercolor block here. You can use any watercolor paper. This is just what I had handy. And then I have this palette here, which is a mixing stone that I got from Sugar House Ceramic. And you can use your palette, but because I'm using some bigger cookie cutters, I wanted to have a flat surface to dip these into. And I thought it would just be good to um, put my colors here and then just be able to dip them a little bit easier. So I'm just going to be bringing over my colors from my Winsor Newton palette, putting them on my mixing stone, and then I have my size 12 round brush and clean water and paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so the idea that I'm getting from this trend is that you're just using like a shape. So some people who are doing the bubbles, they're just using like a circular jar like so, and you dip it in and then you kind of stamp it and then you just use the little bits of the watercolor um, with some clean water to kind of, you know, fill it in and then it looks like a bubble, I think. I don't know, let's just try. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more color. I'm gonna make sure my palette's nice and wet and I wanna try to add a bunch of different colors. I'm gonna try not to mix it around too much because purple and yellow make brown and I want it to stay kind of bright, nice bright colors. I'm just kind of dropping that on there. A little bit more purple there. Make sure it's nice and wet so it really picks up the color of the cookie cutter. And I want to make sure that my water is clean. I have two jars here so I can pick up some clean water and then wash off on the dirty one. Um, I have two kind of cookie cutters here that I've gotten from the dollar store. I'm going to try this one. I think you want like a thinner surface, but I don't actually know. So I'm just going to dip it in here. Hopefully it picks up some color and I'm just gonna stamp it and then quickly, that doesn't look promising, quickly with clean water, you wanna touch the edges. Well, kinda. So they kinda bleed. And it looks like the outline of a bubble. Kind of, that kinda works. Might need a bit more color. And I don't know if you're supposed to like fill it in or not. Like I wonder if you can just add a little bit more color there. I feel like I didn't pick up as much as I could have. You could always just tap in a little bit more color, I feel. That was a little bit. Yeah, that cut cookie cutter didn't pick up as much as I think we're supposed to. Okay, I don't know if that worked or not. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try with the flatter side. Just gonna move it around. Hopefully the, I don't know if it's picking it up enough. Stamp, what the heck? Okay, that didn't work. Don't you love when I do videos and they just don't work out? We're gonna make it work. It's hard to, I wonder, and I wonder if I stamp it in there if it's just not picking it up or if I should draw it or paint it onto the actual cookie cutter. I also need clean water to go around it. That's not looking great. We can always go over this one after. So the trick is if you're using different colors, so like I said, purple and yellow make brown and we don't really want a brown bubble. Um, you wanna try to avoid those two colors mixing together. Let me wipe up this and just try and place them a bit better. Yellow over here and yellow can mix well with pink and blue because they sit next to it on the color wheel, right? 
but it's the blue, the purple that we want to avoid mixing with the yellow, right? I'm gonna grab more pink. I want more pink in here. And then we'll put the purple on the other side of this blue and pink because that mixes well together. So yeah, okay, let's just see. Or we can just even just try to paint it on. I don't know. I'm gonna try and stamp it one more time. Maybe let's try a smaller one. It's still not picking up much color. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Because it looked like people just stamped it, but. Clean it off. That one's a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's see if we can paint this on. Do you think that would work better? I think it's because it's plastic, it's beading. I don't get it. Like I wonder, hmm, what could I use? See, I don't have a heart, but can I use like this lid of my bleed proof white. This is gonna contaminate it, but that's fine. What if I like to just stamp it? Let's see. It's a little bit better. Transferred a bit more color. I don't think it's necessarily gonna work with my heart shapes. I mean, they still kind of look like bubbles. Let's try with this. I'm gonna grab more color. Let's try with this. Because I've seen people do jars. Okay, so that transfers way better. Maybe I should have just left the heart ones out of it. Because the plastic just kind of repels the paint, right? It just sits. That's like when you get a, a brand new um, plastic palette and it beads. I think that's the same reason. Like it just sits and it kind of beads in one spot. It can't really spread out. Ah! <laughs> okay, so the, the jar does work a bit better. That's kind of cool. Okay. Maybe I'll just have a couple of heart ones. Let's do some more of these. I'm just gonna mix this around a bit. Nah, it's all getting all muddy now. I have to redo my paints. Let's just try the purple, or no, the pink, yellow, and blue. See if we can get decent colors that way, okay. Okay, the jar works way better. Pick up some clean water and go around. That's better. And just bring some of it to the middle like that. That's cool. Try and pick some more up. Okay, yeah, this works way better. Wish I had a heart shaped jar. Pick up clean water. Just touch that edge so it bleeds. Wash it off a bit. I'm gonna grab a little bit of pink. You can always just add some colors in there. Why not, right? Grab a little bit of yellow. I mean, it still kind of does look like bubbles. We got a couple hearts in there. 
I'm gonna try and do a couple hearts again. I know it didn't work as well, but I kinda wanna overlap some of them. Let's try this one. I don't think this one's gonna work as well either, but I don't know, let's see. Ah, not too bad, okay. Clean water, clean water. So we're gonna overlap these bubbles. Want a little bit more pink here. Just gotta make sure I wash it off. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more color. It kind of works. That's kind of cool. I like it. Okay, let's just try and fill up this whole space and just see what we can do with it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I thought it would be easier than it was, and it definitely wasn't. I probably didn't have the right, you know, tools for it. Uh, the jar seemed to work the best, but the thing I found that you really needed to watch out is when you're kind of like blending the colors out with the water. If they mix with the wrong color, it's gonna be kind of muddy. So you have to wash your brush off in between each time you go over. Um, so you don't necessarily mix the colors because you want that yellow and that blue. You don't want necessarily the mix of the all three colors or whatever. But yeah, so I mean, it was kind of fun. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think below. If there's any other kind of viral art hacks or paintings you guys would like me to try. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.